protect me. Oh yeah, baby. It'll automatically turn on and start the time event. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's scary too. If you logged off your PS4, oh, you'll be automatically. Wow, you know that. <laughs> oh boys, there we go. So in the past, claymores couldn't go through drone holes. It was like trying to fit them through a barricade where it seems like you could, but you just can't. I don't know why. That's how Ubisoft scripted it. But I'm also sure you've heard of the claymore trick where you place that non-reinforced wall and the laser will go through and possibly kill someone. But that's very hard to do because it takes a lot of time and someone can look, see you trying to do that and kill you instantly as it's happened to me before so many countless times. And it's also a very large area in the objective room where one little laser is hard to step on as it's so big. Well now, claimers can go through drone holes, and you get so many kills, as you've seen in the beginning of this video. Our first spot is on coastline, on the main hallway of the first floor, at a corner. This claimer spot is amazing, as it is a common spot, and this is actually where I got my first claimer kill, using this method. The second spot is on coastline, near the rear stairs, leading into the hostage objective room, in a place where many people camp. Our third spot is outside the bar leading into the objective room, in a place where many people run, making it an easy kill. Our first spot in Oregon is in the kitchen leading into the objective room. Now the defenders don't have to be playing this room, as roamers and lurkers constantly run past this area. Our second spot in Oregon is outside the building leading into the meeting hall. People commonly camp here so you'll most likely get a kill this way. Our last spot in Oregon is outside the building once again leading into an objective room. Now this one is hard to get a kill on because people don't constantly run here but I'm sure you'll get a kill. Our first and only spot on consulate, it's outside the garage leading into the garage objective, in a place where people will commonly run by or will also commonly camp. Our first spot on favela is near this beautiful young lady, totally young, in this bunk room with a bunk bed, and this one you have to place at an angle or else the lasers won't go through. This place is very common for people to vault and jump into in order to get quick cover. Now our second and third spot on this map is in the girl room or in the bedroom leading into the kitchen where the refrigerator is. This place is a common place for people to peek or hide out while waiting to get that good kill, but you will be the one getting the kill. Our first spot on Skyscraper is outside the building near the vents leading into a hallway where the master bedroom and the bathroom are connected. This is a common place for people to run by, so you have a 99.9% .9 chance of getting it. Our second spawn skyscraper is also outside the building, on the second floor leading into the display room. Now this one is a little harder to get a kill on, since it is a very like precise corner, and you will most likely get an injure instead of a kill. This one is at a doorway leading into an objective. This one is a good counter against roamers trying to rush into the objective when you are securing it. This one, you will get a kill as long as there's a roamer. Our last spot is outside the building once again, leading into the hostage objective room. This place is common for people to back up into while defending the hostage. Our first spot on canal is leading into the work office sort of area and on the second floor in the west wing. This spot is good as it's a very common place for people to camp, run by real quick, or even on bomb. This is a common place for people to run through as they make a hole in between the two objectives. Our second spot is in the lockers leading into an objective room which I'm not sure it's called. But it's at a doorway in a place where many people run by trying to get in and out of that closet area. You'll get a kill this way. Our third spot is on the top floor of the eastern wing. Now, this is a common place for people to peek, making it very easy for a kill. 
Our first spot is once again at the eastern wing outside the building. This one is leading into the hallway in which many people camp or run by. This is one of the best spots on this map. Our first spot on Clubhouse is in a room near the strip club in a place where people will try to get a quick little peek trying to get an easy kill but you'll be the one getting the kill. Very cheeky indeed. Our second spot is outside the garage leading into the garage in a place where people will try to back up to try to save their life but we know that's not going to happen. Our third one is once again outside the garage but also outside the building. This one's leading into the hole right next to the two garages. This one is a place where people will run by making it for an easy kill. Our fourth spot is only good for hostage or bomb. This one is leading into an area where people will once again camp to try to save their lives but they ain't gonna be saving lives here. Our fifth spot is in the same hostage or bomb room which is meant to catch roamers trying to run back into the room. Our sixth spot is outside the master bedroom in a place where people will run back and forth to try to get a peek but they ain't gonna be peeking anytime soon. Our seventh spot is once again outside the building. This one tried to catch people who are going to run back and forth between the room right next to the master bedroom in the workout area. Our first and only spot is outside the eating hall in a place where people are going to try to camp to oh, save their lives but end up dying it's instead. Really content. Our first spot on cafe is outside the kitchen leading into an area where people will most likely peek or lean to try to get that good kill. Ain't gonna happen. Our second spot is also into the kitchen in a place where people will back up into but this one's hard to get a kill on as the claymore is pretty far away. Our third spot is outside the building in a place to try to catch roamers that are rushing back into the objective to try to win for their team. Let's just say they took the L. Our last and probably best spot of this video is outside the train room leading into the area where many people will camp. This is a 100% kill. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helps you in your next Rainbow Six Siege game. But about this video, it's that I took so much time to put into it, and I really didn't feel like editing, as editing can sometimes get it boring, and especially for this one, as it was just clips of me looking at a freaking claymore through a drone hole. Like, really, it can sometimes get boring. But I managed to work through the boring and get this video out for you guys as I haven't had a, an edited video in a very long time I've only done live streams but sadly this video can't just reach 10 minutes on its own so what I'm gonna leave you guys with is the best black screen you've ever seen in your life see you in the next video